All right, today we will be building this amazing ship. It is the Mandalorian Starfighter 9 Plus, who actually follows the age anymore. Number 75316, Mandalorian Starfighter. And it has 544 pieces. It's quite a bit. I just had a shower. My hair's a mess. Um, these are the three minifigures. We got a Mandalorian dude. We got another Mandalorian dude. We got the bad guy Mandalorian dude. So we got three Mandalorian dudes. Pretty cool. And we have this amazing ship. The side box art. Not much. Not much to say. I'm probably not much. And then we got the bat. So he's showing landing form. We got Mandalorian dudes around rotation and putting them in. And then this is uh, those amazing flick fire missiles. Wait, is that? Yeah, flick fire missiles. So let's enjoy building this amazing set. And by the way, this took, I had to retake this about seven times. So I, the, finally I got a good one. So let's go. Okay, I finished uh, the build. It's actually a very fun and exciting build process and uh we're first going to start littlest to biggest but to tell the truth i think the minifigures are a little better than the set so let's go let's start with bo -Katin. such an amazing character in the clone wars i uh, really liked her not in a weird way but um so amazing character like the line with the leg printing and the chest printing wow it like it lines up amazingly so much detail on this, uh, these characters that come out. We got a visor, and we got more over there. To if you want to switch up your guy, you can take off the helmet. There's a face print, and uh, the hair. If you wanted to put the hair in, let me just grab it quickly. You can put the hair on too. So they look either way, both good. Two uh, pistols. Um, one thing it's a little weird. Like, why are these two different colors? Why, like, it's kind of with the Mandalorian, uh, the Mando, it's different. So, I uh, don't oh, know, maybe it's right from the movie, I'm not really sure, but, yeah. Next, we're doing the Mandalorian Loyalist. Uh, the printing is also phenomenal. The, the least, like, as you can see, they don't really connect overly as well. Oh, it's blurry, let me fix this. See right there, it's not really lining up. But I've uh, got lots of detail on it. No side printing or arm printing. There is back printing, but like, it's not overly, like, it's like the other one. We've got an amazing helmet. And then we got that and the leg, so. And his dual pistol, so another amazing character. Now let's go to the last character. For last, we've got the evil Gar Saxon. Oh my gosh. This, this guy is like phenomenal, man. I say that with every figure, but like, they used a brand new head printing for the thorns. It's uh, quite amazing, but I think in the show, these are a bit longer. I'll put an image like right there, show you. But like, it's phenomenal work here. He has one pistol, not duels. Um, so this fig is phenomenal i think that the, the jetpack actually looks quite good because it like blends in quite nice amazing toe printing chest to leg printing um i like the yellow on the helmet and uh, little details do a lot his head is uh quite an amazing face it's a pretty detail there is not another head behind and um, here, I forgot to show you. Here, I'll just add this. Florian Loyalist does not have any face, which is kind of disappointing. They could do it like the Clone Wars guy and Stormtroopers have different um, faces. But uh, it's uh, kind of disappointing. But uh, they do this good on a guy and then don't do face printing. But yeah, let's go to the ship. The ship is pretty big. It's uh, I got to even move all my stuff away. But this is amazing. Got two flick fire missiles. They go like this. I gotta go pick them up after. Little fire like that. Um, the head moves a hundred three uh three hundred sixty degrees all the way around. You can see. Um, more flick fire missiles. 
then yeah, that. Um, they're it's quite tall, but and then the are these go down. It'd be kind of nice if they both went down together. So then you're in flying mode. Head can spin. We got a nice turret on the end, which is a uh, kind of nice. It's, it can turn around, spin around. Um, there is two uh, boost boosters thingies, and we got some amazing detail on the wings. They did a phenomenal job on that. And then we got this. Oh, you can fit two mini figs there. Let me grab some two mini figs. Got one. And then we got two. Two of them can fit and then close up. Uh, I didn't put them in that well. But uh, you know what I mean. They can fit. But the uh, two problems that I have is first, there's a gap. There's a little tiny gap there. It's quite annoying. And uh, it's not like as flush as you think. And then let me just get this back in landing mode. It's hard to do it with an, one hand. Problem is, look at. In the show, it does not have a slant. I'll put an image right there. But it does not have a slant. It goes up like this. So maybe I'll make a video on uh, how to fix it to go like this. But um, I know m &R Productions did one, and he uh, fixed it to go like this. So I'm uh, going to try and maybe make a video and maybe fix it up. This is uh, an amazing set. Now let's get to the outro. This is a pretty fantastic set. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. So we can hit 200 subs by New Year's. Do you think we can do it? And maybe I'll, uh, I'll, uh, uh, Jackson has to put on an ugly wig for, for three whole videos. It's funny how I don't get to do any consequences. Maybe put in the comments what consequences maybe I'll do if we get it by New Year's. I would have to have a whole spoon of mustard. Oh yeah, a whole spoon of mustard. No, and you... I hate mustard. And uh, and I have to do a whole spoon of olives, which I hate. Oh, I love olives. Well, I love mustard, eh? So yeah, stay tuned, like and subscribe. See you later.